What is going on everybody? Welcome to Why Slayer is the Best Skill Part 5 and this episode is going to be all about the money. I finally reached 1 million experience using only Duradel as my Slayer Master and only doing the tasks that are going to make me the most money. So in this final episode, we're going to check out exactly how much my gross value was, what kind of profit I made based on the supplies. We're going to check out all the tasks that I did, and I have a couple other things that I need to do that I acquired along the way, such as some dark totems for some Scotizo kills, and I have a bunch of clue caskets to open. I did all of the clues that I was rewarded with throughout that 1 million Slayer XP, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to check out is my Slayer task list. These are all the tasks that I did all the way through the million XP. And you'll see there on the very last part, the 750k to 1 mil XP, I actually had like two and two third tasks to get 250,000 XP. Blue Dragons, I had 100 of those, which I finished from the previous part of that, which was 40, so 140 in all. Hellhounds, I had 182 of those, did Cerberus for the boss task and 150 Dagonoth Kings, which brought me right over the cusp of the final 250,000 experience I needed. As far as the rest of the tasks and the lists here, they do go back in the other episodes. If you want to check them out in more detail, you can see the other episodes of this series. As for my block list, I was going for a specific block list, but throughout the entire series, I only managed to have to block Sukas and Drakes. Nothing else came up that would have been on my block list. All right, so let's jump into the loot that I acquired throughout the series. So as usual, I got my runes tab, my uniques tab, and my main tab. So we'll start off with the runes here. The runes ended up being pretty good in the long run. 26,000 chaos, 16,000 deaths, 3,700 bloods, 2,000 laws was good, 5,000 soul runes, and some miscellaneous other stuff in there. All in all, the runes guide price or estimated value, 8,376,173 GP. On to my Uniques tab. The Uniques tab is not that impressive really. I didn't really get that lucky throughout the 1 million XP. I got a Trident of the Seas, 3 D-Meds, 4 Dragon Boots, 5 Dragon Legs, 7 Skirts, 2066 Unfinished Dragon Bolts from Vorkath, 1 Dragon Axe, a Ballista Spring, and a Dragon Bone Necklace from Vorkath which is useless. 7,431,304 GP for that estimated tab and into the main loot tab. So this one is valued at 53.1 million and there's 15,450 platinum tokens in there. That's from all of the cash that I picked up throughout the entire series as well as everything that I alked along the way. I do have three Scotizo kills to go through which we will do in this video. And right now I have 10 hard caskets, 11 elite caskets and a hard clue to do. So that'll put me at 11 hards and 10 elites plus whatever I managed to get from Scotizo, considering it always drops a clue and has a one in five chance for an elite clue. As for the rest of the supplies, most of it is just resources, but that stuff does add up over time. As for the seeds, that was pretty good. 19 Renars, 23 Snapdragons, 23 Torstals, six Magic Seeds in there. Ended up with 4,500 Coal, 2,700 Gold Ore, some Rune Ore, some Rune Bars, got some gems in there. Uh, talismans from the Dagonoth Kings that I did pick up, a few logs, magic and you are the most valued, 313 battle staffs, 320 onyx bolt tips, that's pretty nice, all the dragon hides from Vorkath, uh, dragon bones, wyvern bones, Dagonoth bones, and superior dragon bones, and some other miscellaneous stuff in there. So as for all of this stuff together, my estimated total from the rune light price tracker is 69,987,605 GP, but that is not going to be the end number because I did keep track of all the supplies, which we will go through at the end. But first, I want to get the Scotizo kills done and open all the caskets. I know there's going to be some master clues in there, so we'll get those done too. All right, so let's get these uh, three dark totems done. I already have the pet and the claw, but for collection log, I'd still like to have the uh, the jar of darkness. So hoping for one of those. So I got three shots. Let's see what happens. First Scotizo kill is... Ooh, a hard and elite clue scroll. Nice, dude. Got both of them. Other than that, rune plate legs. Three ancient shards. Second Scotizo kill. Oh, wow. 92 KC. I didn't even know it was that high. That's a lot. Mm, clue scroll and three rune plate skirts. All right, do the clue and got one more. All right, last go Tito kill. Mm. 
Three rune plate bodies. Interesting. Three rune legs, three rune skirts, and three plate bodies. All right, so I'm going to do this clue, and then we'll open up all my caskets that I got throughout this 1 million Slayer XP. All right, let's get into these clue caskets. It's going to start out with the hard ones here. I got 14 hard ones, 11 elite, total of 25. I'm hoping to see like three or four masters throughout these, but we'll see how lucky we get. So here we go. First one. Rune plate and legs. Rune kite, rune plate, rune longsword, rune pickaxe, bandos plate legs, zamrock kite shield, another set of bandos plate legs. Oh, not bad. Armadillo dehyde boots. That's a good one. Good hard clue. And nothing in that one. So we'll go ahead and bank this stuff. All right, got eight hard caskets left. First one, nothing in there. Nothing there. Masters are not looking good. Bad clue. Another bad one. These are not good. Not good, not good. Blue dehyde chaps G. Red dehyde chaps G. All right, I got one more, one more hard. Nothing. Wow, not good hard clues. I guess onto the elites. All right, 11 elite caskets. I'm hoping, I hope at least two masters in here would be nice. Maybe a mimic? Nothing in the first one. 56K. Second one's worth 86K. Nothing from there. What is that? A U seed? Nothing. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh man, we are on the struggle bus right now. This is the Clue Scroll struggle bus. All right, four left. Let's see what we get. Oh, there's Master. All right, at least we got one. Still have a chance. Three more chances for another one, but let me go do this real quick. All right, after a very long Master Clue Scroll, I finally got my casket. We got three elites left to maybe get another Master, maybe get a Mimic. Let's see. Nothing from that one. Nothing there. And our last one, another master. All right, cool, we'll have two masters. All right, finish that second master. We're gonna go ahead and open them. Maybe there's a bloodhound in one of these. First one, nothing interesting. 308K. Second one, also nothing interesting. 290K. So I guess the clue loot, it was okay, I guess. I got like three mil from all those clues. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and alk the alkable stuff, turn it into platinum tokens. I'll go ahead and sell the rest and we'll see what my final loot comes out to be from 1 million Slayer XP at Duradel. All right, so that is it. Everything is alked and everything is sold. So I'm looking at 73,307,000 GP from 1 million Slayer XP at Duradel. Now it does cost me quite a bit of money to do this because of the way I play and because of the gear that I use. So let's take a look at my supplies spreadsheet. And I kept track of everything that I used throughout this little series, the amount of what I used, the item that I used, how much it cost me when I bought them. And I figured that between what I bought and what I used, I ended up spending 29 million 127,124 GP on supplies. But if you look at the runes and ammunition section, the blood runes are 16.5 million GP. And that's between the Sanguinesti staff, staff and the Scythe of Vitor. So 16.5 mil in blood runes alone. And just because I wanted to, the total supply cost that is excluding the blood runes only would have been 12.3 mil so those weapons are incredibly expensive to use now for someone like me i'm more or less chasing pets and unique drops to fill out the collection log so the cost doesn't matter to me but just to give you an idea unless you have the money to spend you should not be using the sanguine sd staff and the scythe of vitor like i was throughout this series i would have profited 61 mil if I had not used those. And it might have been a little lower than that because then again, your supply cost increases based on what else you used. I might have used more food, more potions, more consumables in the long run because I wasn't using those ultra powerful weapons that do cost a lot to use. But just to give you a look at the two different numbers, 
Regardless, I still profited 44 million GP from a million Slayer XP at Duradel. Now with Duradel, once you hit a certain Slayer level, you can't get any better tasks. Duradel can't assign the Alchemical Hydra, so even sub 95 Slayer, if you're using Duradel, this is something that you could be making. So just kind of think about it from about level 92 all, to le all the way to level 99 using Duradel and only making as much money as you possibly can by doing those money making tasks that's where you're going to see your money and it's very possible that you can see somewhere in the area of 300 million gp plus from 92 to 99 with duradel and that's some pretty good money and that's based on only what i've figured here and i wasn't that lucky with rare drops if you count some of those rare drops maybe a primordial crystal from cerberus here maybe some other rare drops there that number could definitely increase so everybody, that is going to bring this mini-series to a close. 1 million Slayer XP with Duradel, making the most money that I possibly can. I hope that you've enjoyed this mini-series. I also want to do this for Konar and Neve or Steve, whichever Slayer Master is still there for you, depending on what quests you've done. So right now, there is a poll popping up. I want to see which one you guys would like me to do first. Do you want me to do Konar first and then do Neve, or do you want me to do Neve and then Konar? So we're going to do it again, a million Slayer XP with both of those Slayer Masters to see how they stack up against Duradel. So vote in the poll. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and then we'll do the following one after that. As always, guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all the support you guys give me and my channel. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up down below and if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button on your way out i will see you guys on the next video take it easy